everybody. You're watching Press Start TV here at E3. We're here with Brian Fargo, and we're going to be talking about Wasteland 2. Brian, what can you tell us about this game? Right off the top of your head, what's the biggest thing you can tell? This game's been a long time coming, yeah, right? Yeah, oh, two decades. <laughs> <laughs> That's about as long as it gets. So, tell us a little bit about uh, Wasteland 2. Well, uh, Wasteland 2 was pretty much the first post-apocalyptic role-playing game I did way back in the day. I'm, not, I'm sorry, Wasteland 1 was back in, back in the day. Let me get that <laughs> the second one Hold is on the second. first one. <laughs> then I wasn't able to do a Wasteland 2 for you know uh, trademark reasons, and that's why I did Fallout instead. Yes. Back at Interplay. And Thank then, you. Obviously yeah. a massive Thank game. You. Yeah, yeah I know Fallout. I mean, what a franchise it's become. It's, it's magnificent. So, but anyway, so I, I didn't. That's where how Fallout was born. So then I left uh, Interplay, and I wanted to do post-apocalyptic. Apocalyptic, can't even say it today, again. And I didn't have Wasteland or Fallout, but I was managed to get the Wasteland rights back. I spent another decade trying to get a deal done. Nothing happened, and I finally turned to my fans, basically, through Kickstarter and said, how about you guys? You want another Wasteland 2? And they, boom, 60,000 people stepped up and gave us $3 million to make it. And so now here it is on console. And some of these fans have had a chance to uh, play the demo that you have here at E3. Um, how has the response been so far? It's been great. I mean, I think I think the, probably the best compliment we've had at the show was that they asked us if we had built this with console in mind. That was my question. Yeah, because the, because the UI, um, I mean, we really did treat it as if we did build it from scratch. But but truly, in the beginning, you know, we made it a PC experience. But you know, you look at like XCOM, for example, did a great job with theirs, and people want a deep tactical game if you do it right. And so we looked at everything that had been done before us, and then we layered on more and did our own streamlining. And so that was the most important thing. It couldn't feel like, oh, it's just a port. And I'll say we did a lot of other stuff. We've improved the graphics. We put a we put a quirks and perks system in. We put an aim shot system in. We put a lot more audio into it. Basically, there was like a bucket list of stuff that we always wanted to do that we never got to get to when we did Wasteland 2 on PC. Now on console, we got the whole bucket list. Yeah, and one of the first things that I noticed, uh, I remember back in the day there was a game called Summoner when I when I played that game on the PS2. Yeah. When I played that game, the first thing I noticed was like there's a level of detail here. This game. <laughs> there's like it's it's deep. There is so much customization. There's just you could spend hours just doing that kind of stuff. It's hard at these shows to show a game of this depth off because you're looking at 80 to 100 hours to get through that product. That was my second question. Come yeah, on, I'm man. Them all. I'm gonna walk off it camera. It is massive. In fact, you know, there's a part in the game where you're you start up in Arizona. And then you're, you know, you're in like 40 hours in. All of a sudden, you get a helicopter. You fly to LA. It's not a big spoiler here. And you're, it's, people think it's like the end of the game. They've just, they're not even at the halfway point yet. Oh, uh, it's mm. absolutely massive, and the replayability is super high. Like we, like one of the things that we're kind of known for is like the kind of the real subtle nuance and cause and effect. And like, there's somebody that you could, you could NPCs join your party. He could join your party. And if he stays with you the entire time, and by the way, he's not that strong, but if you kept him the entire game all the way to the end, there's a whole little episode that happens with him if he just happens to still be oh, in your nice. party. And you know, kind of intellectually thinking, I didn't have to keep that guy. How did they know I was going to keep him? We didn't know. We just script out tons and tons and tons of scenarios on what ifs so that your experience is super personal and that's what makes the game great that definitely gives a lot of repellability to see kind of different stories how the different you know the, the unlocks of playability it, it's actually it is impossible for two people to have the same experience wow nice wow. well you've already answered my two questions <laughs> so i'll ask you uh, one of my favorite questions is okay. what is your favorite part of wasteland 2 like, what's your favorite feature of the game? Maybe that's Wasteland 2 is even happening. Yeah, yeah I, I just think it's the, I think it's kind of the humor, really. It, it has a lot of character. I mean, the way the, the way the NPCs bark and all kind of the weird, dark humor situations. Uh, you know, we have, like, the pistol-packing priests that are, like, you know, super evil dudes. But we hired a real children's choir to sing the songs about the priests. And so it's this weird twist of, like, it's like they're all evil, but yet there's little kids singing, and they sound so sweet and innocent. You know, so it's got a real twisted sense of humor. Well, that's, I, I'm all about a twisted sense of humor. That's right. I love you that you alley. say that with a smile on your face. Too. <laughs> <laughs> We're sick and sadistic. So, what, what platforms are you launching on? Uh, so, this is the Director's Cut uh, edition, and so it's going to be on Xbox One, and then also on PlayStation 4. And then, because our PC backers, I mean, we, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for the people who backed us sure. on Kickstarter, sure. we make this new version available to all of them for free Excellent. because they were there for us. Wow. Excellent. Yeah, Excellent. Got to keep. You know, your fans happy. When they're happy, we're happy. Exactly. Do you have an ETA for release date yet? Um, well, we're trying. We're, we're, we plan to submit the product to hardware manufacturer here next month. Okay. 
And so uh, that, how, as far as how long that takes, is a little bit out of my control. Sure. Um, but based upon that, you know, we're September, maybe October, worst case. Somewhere in that line, I can't be super definitive because i got to wait for that process. Sure. Excellent. So it's coming soon. All right. <laughs> Excellent. Brian, thank you so much for joining. Wasteland 2 looks amazing, and I think you guys are going to absolutely love this game. If you want an in-depth game, check this game out. Keep it here on Press Start TV. Cool. Thank you.